A prominent realtor in the posh Gross Points has been caught in a disturbing breach of ethics, having sex with a married woman in several homes he had listed for sale. A complaint was filed against him with the state by the jilted husband, who now believes that realtor got a sweetheart deal that has just been made final. 7 investigator Jim Kirshner talks with the people involved and holds regulators accountable. His name is on the business, Scott Adelhock. His name and reputation are the business. He came with a high success rate of selling houses. He talked about his family. His name is also in the state investigation that Scott Adelhock's conduct demonstrated, quote, fraud, deceit, dishonesty, and a lack of good moral character. Is Scott available, please? We'll come back to Adelhock in a minute. How did he get here? taking the low road through the high-class homes he listed. Not one, not two, but six of the homes he listed for sale for clients. This formal complaint from the Michigan Attorney General documented almost two full years of using his clients' homes for, quote, sexual acts without the permission or knowledge of his homeowners. You should not be allowed to have a real estate license because who would give him permission to have sex in their home. When you choose the behavior, you choose the consequences. And that's where he's at today. Cynthia Griffin okay. took us through the home so she and her husband bought room. through Adelhock. In this second floor bedroom, there was a carpet she has since removed that was sold with the house with mysterious stains. So the carpet would have been right here? Right through here. And there was even more stains in this area as well. The woman who met up with the raunchy realtor verified to the seven investigators the stains were from there making love. Some would suggest Adelhock put the gross into the gross points. It's thoroughly disgusting. I'm appalled. Absolutely appalled. You wouldn't have sold it to him that way. Oh, for, oh no, I would have fired him. If you had him. known. I would have fired him. She says Adelhock covered his tracks by telling her the stains were foot traffic from people looking at the house. She also believes he had it priced too high to keep it on the market longer and available to him. The investigation into Adelhock's extracurricular activities in those homes came about thanks to this complaint filed by Rob Ermani. His then wife was having an affair with Adelhock. When Armani and she went to Lansing to see how this case would be decided, they were left out of the process. The complaint was issued based on lack of good moral character, fraud and deceit or dishonesty. The consent order includes a suspension of 30 days and a fine. This is the nine member Michigan Board of Real Estate Brokers and Salespersons. It passed with no discussion, eight nothing. And you think a 30 day suspension is fair? Some would say that's a slap on the wrist. No comment. You represent the people of Michigan. You're appointed to this body by the governor can, to represent the people. You can refer to the department. I'm referring to you. You negotiated the settlement. How is this? Are we kidding? It turns out Robert Money was also not told for months about any progress in the case. We asked Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte about it back in December. Why can't the family get answers? Well, it's just the standard operating procedures in the middle of a you know this whole review, and we just never get into the, the specifics of an ongoing legal case. The Armani's hired an attorney who came to Lansing to address the board. He was told he could not ask about the terms of the settlement. Obviously, uh, he should have gotten more, but I'm happy uh, that this is over with. I'm happy the state found him guilty. Aline Armani is the woman who had the affair with Adelhock in those six Gross Point homes. She and Rob are now divorced, but a team on this case. You're a grown woman. You can make your own decisions. You chose to meet him there. I did. I did. Um, after a lot of coaxing on his way of drawing me in, of uh, painting my ex-husband to be a horrible person that I should be um, divorcing. The settlement with Adelhock also includes a fine, but get this, state officials won't give us a copy of the stipulation, nor the amount of the fine. They will also not tell us when the suspension starts or how it's enforced. He'll give you a call. He's with people and take Oh, okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. We never heard back. A statement from Adelhock's attorney says in part, potential for negative publicity on a personal matter warrant that a settlement is reached to bring a final resolution to this ordeal. It's simply time to move on with our business interests and our personal life. But that may not be the end. Linda Brady is considering a lawsuit. And so are the Irmanis with their attorney. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. We are still obtaining documents from the state, including the full settlement with the realtor. And once we obtain those, we will have a follow-up report. Steve.